And welcome back to Pirate News Network. Uh, I am joined with uh, Jeanne Caldwell, who is a 21-year-old uh, communications major from upstate New York. And uh, I heard from a little birdie that uh, you are an intern at WNCT. Yes, I am currently what, intern. What is that like? Um, so usually I go in every other day, and I go to like the morning meetings. And then after that, we I usually go to like the, what else thing? Um, I go out with reporters, and sometimes I help producers and stuff like that. What, uh, is there, do you get to report on anything or kind of what are some stories that, you know, you've seen the reporters that you go out with report on? Um, a lot of times I do like hard news stories. Mm -hmm. So recently someone from ECU passed away and one of the reporters, I went with her to do a story on that. And, um, sometimes I do stories that are like featurey stories. So usually they'll go, go on interviews and I usually accompany them. Oh, and uh, whenever you go on kind of those interviews, do you get to do anything in the process, or is it kind of just, you know, you shadowing them? Do you get to control anything? You know, what's that like? Um, usually when I go with them, I don't, well, I usually get to, like, do stand-ups or, like, practice live shots, but I don't do anything that is, like, going to be on air. It's more for, like, my newsreel that I have to make, so I do get to do stuff and practice, but it's not stuff that's going to be, like, on air. I also see that you want to be a reporter whenever you grow up. What kind of, what field do you want to go into? You know, what do you want to report on whenever mm -hmm. you get older? I want to do entertainment news. So, I mean, I do intern at a local news station, but um, eventually maybe one day I can work my, work my way up into becoming an entertainment reporter. Now, what makes you want to do entertainment news? Um, I think I just always have been interested in, like, the entertainment business. Um, so if I was going to be in this business, that's just the field that I would be more interested in. Okay. Um, I also saw this is your first internship. Mm -hmm. um, do you want to do more internships in the future? Do you want to do similar ones like this? Uh, has this been like a, you know, like a learning experience for you? Yes, I do hope to do more internships in, in the future. Um, I think the biggest part about doing internships is just gaining more experience. So hopefully next semester I will be able to do another internship because this is kind of like the last time, little time I have before I graduate. So yes, I do hope to do more. Now, what, what kinds of advice would you offer to somebody that's, you know, looking for an internship? Um, start looking as soon as possible because the earlier, that, the later that you wait, the less of a chance you have on getting that internship. Um, so just start early and um, just make sure that you, you know, make sure you have things like your cover letter and your resume and just try, maybe try to have someone proofread that kind of stuff so that, you know, before you submit it, it'll just be really like, error free. And uh, you said earlier that you, you know, go out with reporters kind of whenever they go out for news stories. What, what's like the, what's the craziest story that you've seen so far? Um, one of the first stories I went out on, one of the reporters went to a cemetery and she interviewed this guy who like, he, I don't remember what, exactly what his title is, but he, he takes like these wires and like whenever he goes over a body, the wires cross. And then when he's not over the body anymore, they like uncross and it was really creepy. Especially like being in a cemetery. Cemeteries kind of creep me out. Now, following those uh, reporters, have they influenced you at all to you know keep going into uh, news, or you know vice versa? Have they influenced you not to go into news? Like, what kind of influence? Have they um, had? no. Well, usually I feel like everybody kind of has your best interest. They want you to do as well as you possibly can. Um, and they want you to you know advance in your career, hopefully one day. Um, so usually people, a lot of people give me tips on things that they have done in their past internships and things that they have experienced while actually working on the job. So I'm able to like learn from everything that they've done. Now what's been your favorite part so far about the internship? My favorite part is probably going out with reporters. Okay. Uh, and you know, how long does this internship last? Is it just for the semester or? Yeah, it's actually um, just a semester long thing. Um, I have to have, a because I get credit hours for it, mm -hmm. so I have to have 140 credit hours by December. So it's just, you know, just for this semester. Now, what's your plan for after this internship? Um, after this internship, I'm possibly just looking for another internship, or I might just stay there and just stay there for another semester and just continue to gain more skills in this field. 
Oh, okay. Um, you know, do they allow interns to come back? You know, do you, uh, would you guys do different things or would you be doing the same thing? Um, I know that they do allow you to come back because I do have a friend who has had two internships at, at the same place that I'm interning right now. Um, but I'm not sure exactly what I would be doing, but yes, we will be able to come back. Cool. Thank you very much. And uh, folks, that is all the time we have. Uh, once again, we're here with uh, jean A. Caldwell, who is a uh, communications major at East Carolina, and she was just talking to us about her internship experience. Thank you.